There were repeated calls in the UK this week for the US to revoke the travel ban, which has been in place since March 2020. But as JetBlue launched its new London, New York service, there were signs of increased confidence, despite the airlines believing that the travel ban won't be revoked before September and possibly as late as November. Heathrow Airport is the busiest airport in the UK and before the pandemic, it was the busiest in Europe, but it has called on the government to do more to increase travel in July, it said that 1.5 million people passed through its terminals, which is well below pre-pandemic levels. As reported by iNews, it has asked that PCR tests be replaced with lateral flow tests, which are much cheaper and faster, and that the UK government pushes harder for the US to open up its borders and reciprocate by rescinding its travel ban. A spokesperson for Heathrow Airport said this week, with fully vaccinated US visitors now able to travel to the UK without the need to quarantine, the joint UK-US travel task force must capitalize on the UK's world-leading vaccine rollout and reach a reciprocal agreement for fully vaccinated UK travelers. There are signs though, that confidence is increasing. Passengers traveling from North America increased by 230% during July, with the most popular route being New York's JFK Airport as it used to be, pre-pandemic. In addition, more Americans have been able to travel to the UK since August 2, provided they are fully vaccinated, they can still travel if not, but must enter a 10-day quarantine upon arrival. Additionally, JetBlue went ahead with its planned opening of a NY, London route, despite the pandemic. The first transatlantic flight left JFK on Wednesday evening and it plans to start a Gatwick route on 29 September, as reported by the BBC. Prices for a ticket started at $941, £679, one way, slightly cheaper than British Airways and Virgin Atlantic, which both listed $980 a ticket for the same time period. JetBlue has completely redesigned its aircraft for the international journey, rather than using its existing planes. Adding in other airlines, this now means that there are a possible 28 flights a day running between London and New York. The US-UK travel industry is lucrative. As reported by The Independent, almost 4 million travelers made the journey from the UK to the US in 2019, figures from the UK's foreign office, while 4.5 million journeys were made in the opposite direction, visit Britain figures. Before COVID-19, it was the London, New York route which carried the most people almost 3 million annually.